Green Auto Helm 3000 without the fancy control unit with the old school control unit. Looks like that on the bottom. This is the manual how to install it. Functional test procedure. This is the most important page. It goes over how to actually control it. Alright, first thing you gotta do is make sure you got power. Once you have it installed, you can activate it with this little lever and that can release the, disengage it. You just push that down and it takes the pressure off the belt. And then there's these two little lights, LED lights on top. They're really hard to see out here in the bright sunlight. But basically the red light blinks when it's actually using the autopilot to starboard and the green one does it go turns on when it's engaging the autopilot to port it took me a while to figure that out and then off is where we're at right now so if we go to set so that see it just engaged so once we're on set what we want to do is right now the green light's blinking now the red light green light and then red light so what you want to do is turn this dial until you get it right in between the two lights up oh, red green red green so I want to keep it right in there and that means I'm at like center and then what you do is come down here and instead of at set you want to switch it to one and now it's going to hold it at that bearing that we just set up here and if we start to rotate it will actually engage the steering wheel got to unlock it first and it will show us which way that it's turning See it's saying port, 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 port. It's adjusting port. So we're swinging like hell on the mooring right now. It's very windy out here. And it's trying to adjust. Now if I pick this thing up and I start twisting it, that's how you know it's working. So voila, that's the Auto Helm 3000, and it still works even though it looks corroded. I haven't taken it out yet, but it's a little too windy today to actually go out there and test the thing. Maybe tomorrow.